All right, guys, today came in quicker than I thought. Google Chromecast with Google TV. I believe this replaced the uh, Google Chromebook or Google uh, Chromecast Ultra. It's basically a Chromecast with, they're calling Google TV now instead of Android TV. Down here it says things that you can install, which are pretty common. Uh, doesn't say much on the box. But it does support 4K, Dolby Atmos, all your typical stuff. It has 4K right there. I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but either way. So, without further ado, I have this little half pair of scissors here, but I don't know if they. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's just get into it here. Now, I ordered this too on the day it was released, along with the. Pixel 5 and a new Nest speaker. So, but this came out first, then it's the Nest speaker, which I'm excited to hear about the new sound quality, and then the Pixel 5, which some people were saying it's overpriced. You know what? You pay for what you get. And the Samsung FE was an option, but with the, I've got a S7 Tab S7 Plus, I got the Fold and the Note 20 Ultra. I don't need their Samsung device. But without further ado, let's get back to this Chromecast right here. So. Opening the box, got two here. It looks like this here is your device. This right here is remote. We got some books. Get started, guys. I probably won't need that too much. And in the box, we've got your plug, charger, and cable. Now, I've been told this cannot be powered from your computer's USB port. It's gotta be, you gotta use this. I don't really care. Most of my TVs are either smart to some extent or have a Roku, Nvidia Shield, something hooked up to it. Problem is my current 4K TV that I use for general use has got a built-in Android TV that's no longer supported. So I'm using a Roku, which by far Roku is the easiest to use, but I prefer Android. What I'm really excited for is you see this right here. I do have Stadia Pro and I've been streaming it to my computer and my tablet, but now well, it's going to get support in 2021 from what they say, which is months away. But you can sideload it and use it now, which is what I'm really excited for. So, you guys see that. Charger, cable, nothing else in the box, I don't think. Well, take that back. Oh, and then you got your, your batteries for the remote. Sorry about that. Pretty simple packaging. Google has always been pretty good with that kind of stuff, especially with their like Nest Home speakers and stuff. And there's that. So, let's get this open. Alright, so the first thing we got here is the remote. All white. They make the, uh, you know, the assistant button pop a little bit, which I kind of like. They got a dedicated YouTube and Netflix button. Rumor on the streets is, uh, you can install an app or sell an app that you can actually customize what these do, even though it'll still say that. And then you get your battery compartment. And I don't know if you guys know, I don't really care about color. This is the back of my TV, so I just got the white version. And that's it, guys. Pretty simple packaging. Like I said, it's 4K. This might be, in my opinion, one of Google's most underrated products, but one of the best products of the year and streamer of the year. Now, with Roku, you've got access to everything plus Apple Plus, TV Plus, if you subscribe to that. I had the first year, I was not impressed, nothing really exciting for me, but they just started, it might get better. But the big thing is Stadia, Google Play Store, side loading, and I get to try the new Google TV interface. Um, so, in the comments below, let me know what you think of this device um, and maybe overall what the uh, re Google's re recent release event was all about. Like I said, coming up, I'll have an unboxing of the Nest speaker as well as the Pixel 5 and I'm debating about some other things coming up. But if you like this, thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much.